Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to the camp, it's your girl Twin D, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is, where you are, it's your girl again, Twin D. Anyways guys, let's jump straight into your message and let's see what message your masculines have for you today in regards to their situation and what's happening around them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Alright, let's see what your divine masculines have to say to you in regards to what's happening around them here. Alright, divine masculines, what's happening? What's going on? What's going on with you? I have intimacy issues right now. I'm afraid I'll have performance anxiety and or don't feel very confident about being physical in a healthy way or owning up about my past. So your divine masculine was effed up. Simple, plain and straight. They were effed up by somebody they were intimate with. That's what they said. It's right there. It's right there. These divine masculines here fear that they're not good enough to you during intimacy. Feeling like they won't be able to perform. This is stemming from past hurt. This is stemming from past people who, who shrunk, shrunk their thoughts about their performance. I don't even want to explain it. But there are people, of course, we are like this. Especially women. We are like this. Where we curse the men them out. Telling them they're not this, they're not that, your this is this, your this is that, whatever. And sometimes when we do that, it's like just to hurt their feelings. Even if it's not so, but it's just to hurt their feelings. And these of our masculines, ah, oh, trust me, their feelings were hurt. Very much hurt. And whoever did that to them, it was on spite, on purpose. On purpose. Just to make them feel bad. It's not necessarily true. It's just to make them feel bad. That's the energy I'm getting from these masculines here. I'm being held up in a prison of some sort or self-imposed. Either way, I'm doing my best to get myself out of this and I will reach out as soon as I can. Please don't worry about me. I'm healing childhood trauma before I feel comfortable starting a relationship with you. I feel could be healthy enough to maintain without getting so easily triggered and taking things out on you. So your, your divine masculines, one of the reasons they stay away from you here is because all the, the trauma that they have experienced, everything that they have gone through, it comes back whenever they are triggered. It comes back whenever you may say something or do something that triggers them because of course you both have wounds to heal and you're going to trigger each other. And your divine masculines, they're really seeing now, like, I need to heal myself before I can come towards you. Before I can come to be with you. Because I do not want to hurt you on purpose. 0404. Zero four. They don't want to hurt you on purpose. So that they would rather stay away and heal. To the point that they know that they, are, they have rid themselves of all the negative feeling and have enough confidence. To face their fears and to overcome their struggles without blaming you or taking it out on you whenever they get triggered. I feel like such a coward. I'm so discouraged about my people pleasing. It's a hard hab habit to break. But I know it's time to start putting myself first because I want you and I know I have to do this. Again with the traumas and the childhood wounds. 
pleasing others because they want to feel worthy, pleasing others because they want to be accepted. And like I said, they need to gain that courage before they can come towards you, and there it is. They do feel like such a coward because it's so hard for them to break that dirty habit of people pleasing. If they do not break that habit, they will not be able to make decisions on their own, decisions for themselves. So they are learning that right now. You haven't heard from me because I'm on vacation or I'm taking a break away from everyone and everything to feel refreshed and renewed for a new and strong start with you. So these Divine Masculines are definitely moving forward. It's like they've passed that stage where they're scared to come forward. Now they're working on coming forward. Like they've overcome those struggles. And all that's left for them to do is to move and come forward to you. I'm dealing with an addiction right now. Please let me deal with this on my own so I can feel empowered and confident starting a new life with you. I know I can do it. See, they have to have that confidence to fight their battles. They know they have to deal with this on their own. They know they cannot rely on you. They know. Because that's what they used to do in the past. Rely on others to feel comfort. Rely on others to feel loved. But now they have to do everything on their own. And they know this. I have some overbearing and controlling people in my life. I'm afraid we'll try to control you. So I'm working on good boundaries and gaining respect before bringing you into this dynamic. These are the people that they're people pleasing. Because they're overboring, overboring, overbearing, overpowering. And they wouldn't want to not be able to protect you. They wouldn't want to be standing there and they are trying to control you and they aren't strong enough. They aren't strong enough to defend you. They aren't confident enough to defend you against them. So they want to make sure that they have set their boundaries, that they have heed, that they have enough strength, courage, confidence to defend not only themselves, but to also defend you. Because your masculines, they are your emperors, they are your defenders. And if they are weak within themselves, how can they defend you? You are seriously, literally the answer to my prayers. My dream girl, say you'll say yes if I ask. I'm so nervous because I'm seriously planning to propose or elope. Get ready. Get ready. They're planning, I told you. They're planning. What else do you have to say, Divine Masculines? I've chosen... Oh, Jesus of mercy. I don't like this card, you know, Miss Amy Saturi. I don't like this one. <laughs> this is the Amy Saturi deck, guys. You can find it on her website, amysaturi.com. I've chosen to date someone else right now, so please respect that and give me time and space to see what I truly want. If we're truly destined, I'll see that clearly as I explore this. As much as I do not like that card, that card is true. You do not know what you have until you lose it. You do not know the difference between something unless you have something else to compare it to. So sometimes they do leave you and go be with somebody else. But that experience that they're having is showing them that what they are looking for, they can't find it where they are. And the only place they can find what they're looking for is within you. Again, they cannot see, they cannot compare, unless they have something to compare against. We don't like it, I don't like it. But if they do not see the difference, how would they know what to choose or who to choose? How would they know what's good for them and what's not? 
And that's how they know they love you because they have been through so much turbulent moments with their karmics and other people around them. And that's how they're going to know that you truly love them. Because the experience that they have with those people, they, they, they never had it with you. It's different. I cry myself to sleep and toss and turn over this separation. I miss you so much. It's killing me not to reach out. I love you so much. I also know this isn't the time for us to happen yet. Same like in the first message. I got the message not right now. I mean like, like what? <laughs> but it's because they know they're not confident as yet. To be that emperor. To stand up for you. To stand by you. To protect you. To provide for you. They're not in that space as yet. It's killing them. It's killing them. But they have to stay away. I have to take care of a child matter right now. Or someone else who is dependent on me. I can't move forward till it's taken care of. And I feel like it's stabilized. Thank you for your patience. So you have some masculines here who have to take care of situations with their children. Ooh, 11, 11 and 707. That's why they can't come forward until they finish that situation. Your child is a part of you. And when you're healing, you have to heal situations with your children as well. You have to make sure your children are happy as well. You can't heal and your child is not healed. Because your child is you. They come from you, right? They are you. That's why they know when you're happy and when you're sad. They feel your pain when you're unhappy. That's why they'll come to you, Mom, Dad, are you okay? Because they can feel your energy. And notice when you're happy, they're happy. When you're sad, they're sad. So when you have children, both masculine and feminine now, when you have children and you're on this twin flame journey, even if you're not on this twin flame journey, you have to make sure that while you're healing, they heal. Now, while you're working on your happiness, it's making them happy. So if you keep yourself stuck in a situation that makes you unhappy, that's all you're doing to your child, making them unhappy as well. And you're teaching them to accept unhappiness. Sometimes we're the one who mess our children up. We're the one who mess our children up because we teach them the things to accept that are detrimental to us. And then we say, I'm doing it for my child. Nonsense. You're doing it because you're scared. Scared of moving on. Scared of being on your own. Scared of starting over. Because you know you won't have anyone to depend on. And when you feel like crying, there's no one there for you to cry to. But you keep forgetting one thing. The big man upstairs that's watching you, protecting you. God says to bring your burdens to him. Bring your burdens to him. So when you're going through your struggles, when you're hurting, don't depend on a human being to be there for you because sometimes the ones you're looking for to be there for you, they will never be there. But God will always be there. You're never alone. You're never lost. Because God will always know where to find you. And you always know where to find God. You just got to pray. You just got to talk to him. That's all. I'm so angry or jealous I can't see straight. Let me calm down before I reach out to you. If I decide to. I just can't believe you did that. Girl. Well, somebody did something that made these masculines angry. Somebody did something. I know, I know it's not me. I mean, I'm all alone here. I, do, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. If it's my past, I'm asking all you got to do is, you know, call me, text me, something, and ask me about it, and I'll explain to you. You can't just be sitting there and assuming things. You got to ask, ask, and you shall receive. You know, but somebody did something that made them jealous. I'm working on a plan to surprise you right now and don't want you to have a clue about when, where, or how it's coming. Surrender to the mystery. It'll be worth the wait. Mm -hmm. 711. 
I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and I'm afraid to go through yet another breakup. I have to learn to trust myself more. So I told you in the beginning that these were maskings have experienced people who put them down in their relationship. And here he comes out on the top of the deck. Top of the deck is what the message is all about. So they don't feel like they can make good choices because they've been through whether more than one or ten breakups. And it was always made to seem like it was their fault. I'm finally starting to love myself enough to be open to you loving me. I'm on shaky legs yet, but I'm headed in the right direction. I want to work on this so I'm not too needy or push you away. So they are definitely working on themselves, guys. Five, four, five. Because they don't want to be dependent. They don't want to be dependent on you. They need to be that emperor where they can stand on their own two feet. They can protect both you and themselves without hesitation. This has been your message, everyone. To purchase your book, reading, or keychains. No, to purchase your book <laughs> or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site and